Hey everybody, this is No Arrows. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing The October Faction by Steve Niles and Damian Worm. This is from IDW. Steve Niles, of course, best known for 30 Days of Night, the uh, comic which really put IDW on the map. And, uh, which is cool, I guess. I mean, I never... I never read, I mean, I never enjoyed 30 Days of Night for Steve Niles' writing. I mean, the big draw for that was Temple Smith's art, but I mean, he's not bad. He's not a bad writer. And, uh, it's a comic about the this guy and his wife who, uh, well, it's about a family, but, like, this guy and his wife, they, uh, used to be monster hunters in the old days, and, uh, they're, they're kids now are into the, they're hoping to get into the family business, and, uh, this, uh, other guy who's, like, a, a jerk, he, uh, gets the guy's wife to, I, I won't go too far into it, but basically, there's, like, somebody who conspires against them, and, uh, they kind of the parents are forced to be dragged out of retirement, and the kids come with them. And, uh... That's basically it. That's, like, a really loose summary. This is, like, a robot guy. Uh, there's a... Wait, there's a bigger picture of him on the page that I just passed. Yeah, see there. Oh, come on, glare. Don't do this to me. Yeah, robot guy. And, uh, yeah. He, uh... Is... All right, he's like he's been in like a in a sleep for a long time, and he gets uh, woken up by the guy's wife as part of this jerk scheme. I know I just said I wouldn't reveal everything, but I just did, so you know, deal with it. And uh, so now this robot guy goes after the family, and uh, yeah, that's basically the story. It's you know, it, it's okay. I mean, it's not it's not scary or anything, and it's you know not really funny either. So it, it kind of fails on both counts, you know, in terms of what you want from a horror comic. But if you look at it as like a I don't know, like a fantasy comic. I mean, I guess horror doesn't have to be scary or funny. It can just be a comic about you know monsters and stuff, and you know, and that's basically what this is. And that's not a big deal. And the art is good. I mean, it, the art is, you know, nice. It's fine. It, it works for Steve Niles' writing for sure. Like, these are the this is the kind of artist he works best best with, in my opinion. Ah. Uh, well, that's the end. I just accidentally skipped a whole bunch. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. You got some variant covers back here, too. I don't really have too much more to say about it. I mean, art is good, you know, very moody. Uh, it uh, has... It's very filtered, you know. It, it's filtered in a way that... I don't know if you can... This is a page that's a good example of it, but, like, it's... The colors are moody, and there's, like, a... It looks like it's... The comic's coming at you through filters, so it gives it kind of a spooky feel, I guess, or a moody feel. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the story's kind of interesting. You got this family. I mean, it, it kind of... You know, like, I, I like the family themselves. They're, they're sort of interesting characters. I don't like the dad that much, but, I mean, the kids are pretty neat. And, you know, this the son has, like, this power, I guess, where he can see ghosts. And, like, the daughter can... It seems like she can see the future or something, or, like, she can see what people will look like in the future, or... I don't know, it hasn't been explained yet, but... I'm basically just rambling about this now because I'm trying to fill out time, but... Anyways, it's the October Faction. It's Steve Niles. It's a horror comic. I mean, it's it's kind of what you'd expect, you know. It's sort of 
run of the mill. Uh, it just kind of. I mean, I, eh, I'm just not that. I'm, I didn't get into it, you know. It didn't spook me enough, and it wasn't, you know, tongue in cheek enough for it to really work for me as a horror comic. But, I mean, if you want to see something, you know, with a family who fights monsters, I mean, it, it's kind of like an adventure story, really, or like an action-adventure kind of comic, in all honesty. At least that's how it kind of seems to me. And, uh, if you're into that, give the October Faction a go. I'll give it a number score of... Uh, what did I give Penny Dora? I gave that a 5, right? Oh, man. I better give this a... I'll give it a 6. I mean, because it's not... I mean, it, it's it's above average. It's a, it's a good... It's a well-put-together comic. I mean, the art's, you know... Art, art's okay if you like that kind of thing. The writing's okay if you like this kind of thing. I mean, if you like this kind of thing, you might like this kind of thing. October Faction.